Well, great morning, everyone. Oh, I woke up and went on the net and saw that Jules, a.k.a. Nosferatu of the Trump campaign, um, thought he was going to take a... Uh, Take note from great leader. After all, great leader has filed bankruptcy six times. So I'm going to take a note from him. I'm going to file bankruptcy, hide all my assets. And these women that I owe a lot of money to think they're going to get something. They're going to get bubkis, okay? I'm not giving them a dime, okay? <laughs> I'm going to follow great leader and stiff them. So... His bankruptcy case got thrown out of court, okay? No, you're going to pay, okay? You're going to pay. <laughs> so Nosferatu was not so happy when he was leaving the court. So this morning I got up and I wanted to pull cards. I wanted to look at Kipper. We're going to start out with Kipper. I already pulled the cards and <laughs> kind of tells the tale. And then we'll go ahead and do the tarot. But in the center of it, of course, first card out is the false person. What? False person? Nosferatu? A false person? Giuliani? Okay, Jules Giuliani? Uh, yeah. I mean, he has been drinking so much that he's pickled his brain. So... First card out, we have the false person. Then what we have, the energy going in, bad health. This is not doing him well, okay? And I'm sure he's got bad health again from drinking. He's just sloshed most of the time. But the energy comes in with bad health. Above it, he's trying to figure, how can I work this out? Occupation. I, I need to work this out. You know, he really doesn't have a job anymore. So it's about working it out. Now, the challenge is the great fortune. How do I hide my money? Okay, because they're trying to take it. Look at it. It's all just flowing out. Um, Got to hide the money. Got to hide the money. Got to hide the money. Well, it's not working. And then what we have, the outcome is imprisonment. <laughs> Now, I don't know if he's actually going to prison, but he feels like he's imprisoned because the uh, main male going into it one side, we have the main male, and on the other side of it, we have the expectation of the women that you're going to pay. You lost the suit. You owe us money, and you owe us a lot of money, okay? So uh, what we had underneath of it all were his thoughts and the courtship so who can who can he court who can he bamboozle because crossing it is the distant horizons his future so he's trying to figure out because he's not getting any love from trump anymore after all he's not useful anymore he's got no cachet he was useful for a time when he was Trump's big supporter out there and saying that, uh, you know, it's all fake, that Trump won the election, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And he was happy to just say this, all this bogus crap. Um, but now he's not useful anymore, so he's not getting any love from, from Trump. Trump is not paying any of his legal fees, nothing that he promised to do. Oh, what a surprise. So Nosferatu is not happy. He is not having a good day. So let's go ahead and go with the uh, tarot. Let me give these a good ruffle shuffle. And we'll um, see what they have to say is going on with Jules. God, he's such a disgusting little man. I just, every time I see him, he just gives me the creeps. 
Okay, so our first thing out in the center of it, it's about his loss. Okay, loser boy. So he's not so happy. Underneath of it, we have, first thing is about the message. The message is about his loss. So the energy coming into it is he's going to be out there witnessing, talking about it, the woe is me saga, about how unfair they are above it. But this is coming out of... Um, What's going on now? These are the choices he made in life. This is the path he's walked, okay? So he's got nobody to blame but himself for his loss that's coming up now. The challenge is how he's going to share what he's sharing. Um, he's got to pay, okay? And he's feeling this emotional loss now because, uh, again, he lost he lost, he lost. The outcome is a victory. Now, I would say this is not a victory for him, but a victory for the women. But we'll go ahead and look at that. We'll use that as a starting point and check out what that victory is. So on one side of it, we have charging forward, club in hand. Um, and on the other side of it, trying to manipulate the situation. We have the women have won that round. They're holding on to the power and crossing it. Um, we're looking at his long-term thing, trying to figure a way to manipulate this so that he could get a victory. <laughs> it's not happening. He's in the center of it. He's got the loss. So he can get out there and whine all he wants to, and still charge forward trying to find a way to manipulate the situation. Um, and he may say that he's going to wind up winning, but uh, yeah, no. So we're going to start with this going into it. And we're going to look and see what it says about that. I think we'll just do the short one on this. Okay, so when it comes to his victory thing, what is this? About um, trying to find an opportunity, something new to do, new pathway when it comes to the money, etc. Okay. So above it, we have the nightmare. He's not sleeping at night. Okay. Um, at the foundation of it, there's an agreement. He owes the money. That's it. Of course, one side of it, we have a, an attempted manipulation and the other side charging forward, okay? Um, he's going to be railing against the DOJ and our rules, our laws, our regulations, boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, and he'll be out there selling his fish tails, okay? So he's trying to find a way to spin it, Um and manipulate the situation, but there's no way out, okay? There's no way out. And above it all, again, he's singing the blues. It's not going to work. He's got to pay. And uh, like I said, he's getting no love from his buddy anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that here now, and we'll see you online. Hey, Mr. Mickey. What are you doing, little man? Hmm. He's a good boy.